Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to SFC Fans React. And today we bring you another live pre match show. Remember, it is live, so if there's any swearing, any foul language, we apologize in advance. Um, with myself, Sean Middleton, we also have uh, Matthew Lead, who will be coming in in a moment. Um, we've got a date, obviously today's game is Sunderland versus Bolton Wanderers um, in the Steam and Light. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, it's absolutely free, it doesn't cost a penny. And, Please, please uh, hit that like button as well, if you wouldn't mind. Um, Matthew, Lee, the partner in crime. You all right? Yeah, yeah. All good. Good journey, driving. Oh, yeah. Driving Bit of a change this week. The car instead of the train. I do much prefer the train, though, must say. <laughs> driving. driving. Less, less, less work to do, eh? Yeah, less work to do, and you can kind of relax and go on your phone. But anyway, you know, I'm here. Got me here in the end. So, um, yeah. the, the, the teams will, will have just, have just the come teams out. out. I just, yeah. I'll just go for the teams in a second when I get them. Our oh, little helper, Acacia, is going to give Acacia us. Acacia has got the teams right. In goal is Hoffman, and it's Winchester, Flanagan, Doyle, Serkin, O'Neill, Neil, McGeady, Pritchard, Emmett and Stewart. And that's the exact team what we've got told yes. in the pub. Uh, so now we've, good, got, we've got a secret sauce now. We've got a now. secret sauce now. Thanks for that, Acacia. Secret sauce. Yeah. It's not sure. a barbecue or ketchup. It's Two uh, changes there, Matthew, from the um, last yeah. Saturday's game against Fleetwood. Yeah. Um, I mean, that was a, a, we were both down now. But it was uh, eight, eight minutes I was outside. You know, two nil up. You're thinking, oh, it's definitely uh, three points. You know, and then 15 minutes later, the final says two two. Yeah, I know. It was a, it was a big big shame, um, and I had a feeling we were going to win it. And but the thing is, though, I wasn't too disappointed because it's you know you go you are going to have ups and downs in a season. Yeah. And um, I think as long as we learn from it, and I think you could really see that the players and the manager were really hurt from it, mm -hmm. so they're not going to let let it happen again. Um, but no, yeah, of course, of course, very, very disappointing. And I think Gooch, I think, I think we've been told he's injured today. Yeah, he's had an injury. Eye. He wasn't on the bench, was he? He shouldn't be on the bench, Gooch. No, uh, Gooch not on the bench, so that's right. We've been told. There you go. Let's see, so uh, what I've been told is that um, Emerton's going to go on the right. Pritchard's number ten. McGeady on the left, obviously. Uh, yeah, it'll be Stewart. it'll be something a little bit different. We'll see um, a slightly different play with uh, with Pritchard. But but no, it should. Um, no, 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 no. I think it's uh, the, a good move. The sign of a good side as well. Mafia was when yeah, the chips are down. Which they were last Saturday, where we drew two, two, two late goals. It was very disappointing when being two up and conceding so late as well. Just a little bit cynical by Bailey Wright, but look at the sign of a good side. Always bounces back, and then onto the Tuesday game, which I'll come down next. Uh, Wigan, the top of the table, their team. Wigan, they did uh, make a lot of changes. The, the I think they didn't take the, the competition seriously, but look at another day. We went down there. We feel it's I think seven eight changes in the game. Yeah. And we were outstanding. I think the guys who have come in were great yeah. as well. I think one thing I said last night as well is yeah. that um, when you do get a few injuries during the season, you'll have to rely on those backup players. Mm -hmm. And uh, Wigan will have to do the exact same thing. And I'm, I'm, I'm really confident now that our backup players yeah. are a much better team than, than Wigan. Uh, so I don't think we have anything to worry about there. Uh, I think I think that's so. I said, like mentioned, I said on the fans' Graph Friday was uh, that's the thing. It's it's the it's the strength and depth we've got this year. That's what I think. Yeah, is the difference. If we get an injury to even, I was thinking this Ross Stewart gets an injury. I think Broadhead could do a job up, up top. Yeah, I mean, he took his goal really well. Shows, didn't he? It was a, it was a brilliant yeah. finish. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it, it was a really, really good finish, and he did really, really well to get himself in that position. Um, you know, to really to get forwards and take on the defenders, and then and then with the finish. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Um, I'll just quickly go to the live chat as well as to um, get people. Involved just because I know that involved, people, yeah. you know, there's a lot of people to be at the match and there'll be many, not, many, not be many people who's on the live chat, yeah. but I've still got to. But you give, read the live uh, chat and I'll get some people to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a live chat there. You going? <laughs> Sorry, oh, it's only eyes. Are you keeping your eyes? Not too bad, mate. Have you got the live chat on us? <laughs> anyway, um. Right, okay, I'll just, I'll just go on the live chat. Yeah, I'll just scroll on there. Right, um, David Wood is in the live chat. Woodsy, 190. Uh, Jake Parkinson. Tim uh, Shimon and Ben Carr. So there's a there's a few of them in there. I would like to see it. I think we'll, be get, we'll get more people in there as the season goes on. Um, Dan Humphrey, do you want to come in, mate? Yeah. Yep. Another guy from down south. To see him in the middle there. Um, yeah, yeah. Dan there, uh, thanks for joining us, mate. Yes, good to be so back. Safe, safe journey? Yeah, I've got the train this time, so train. nice and relaxed. Uh, Chilled, had a nice little bacon sandwich in the morning, and yeah, it was a nice little uh, road. I actually missed you last night, Dan, your, uh, your, your expert uh, input. Um, 
yeah. obviously last night we had nothing watched the show, but it was just me, Ben and um, and Matthew. But yeah, uh, yeah. I think we we're just basically talking about the Fleetwood game, the, the, the Tuesday game. I think that was you know try and forget about the, the Saturday game, the Tuesday game. Yeah. Did you watch the game? Uh, no, I didn't watch the. Uh, I didn't watch the game on Tuesday. I wasn't. I wasn't there, but I did see the like extended highlights and. I, I like the goals we scored. I thought Raw had a two goal really oh, nice. Oh, brilliant! Uh, really sort of cut inside. Just many, 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 pop, many positives in the game, wasn't yeah, it? Sort of passed into the corner. And yeah. As Matthew said uh, before, our, our, our strength and depth now is just is you won't see much better in the league. That's you know what I mean. mean. That's that's, we made, that's what eight. I think it was eight changes. Eight changes, and we still yeah. played like that. Changed uh, Hoffman. He changed um, um, Niall Huggins. Obviously, Frederick Alves. He brought in um, Corey Evans. Come in. Then you have Pritchard, uh, Broadhead. Uh, yeah. own, um, um, O'Brien and obviously you say, there was eight changes there's a lot of changes but the guys come in they've done, they've done a tr- tremendous job we're brilliant uh, yeah I think our full backs no hugging I really like the look of him ah, he looks... he's, a, he's, a, he's a quick little player you know yeah yeah uh, that assist for Anama's class as well I, I really like the look of him I think obviously you're not going to drop Winchester after his performance this season but if yeah. anything happens to him or anything he, he's a class sort of back up for that, yeah. for that right back position and I think that's all you want in this team to keep competing. I mean, yeah. You're only going to do well if that's the case. Looking at the team, City. I mean, I mean, Matthew got told earlier on uh, about uh, Pritchard starting. I believe Pritchard's going to be playing um, the number ten, number ten, Emerton on the right, and yeah. McGeady on the left. And Ross, Ross Stewart, obviously uh, up front. Uh, do you think Pritchard deserves his chance um, in the first team? Yeah, obviously he's had a sort of stop, start, start really, and. Uh... Obviously, with the COVID and all that, he's, he's taken time to get his full fitness. Did he? I think mm-hmm. he might have just only played his first full game, sort of in the week, was it? Or, yeah. Uh, so I think he's definitely worth, worth, worth a shot, you know. Yeah. Uh, I haven't seen him from the start yet, really, and I, I, he's definitely got that ability. It's just about whether he can uh, sort of anyway, last Dan, ninety minutes. I want to try and uh, get, get yeah, more people yeah. in. So, um, just quickly, do you think uh, you're confident this afternoon? Score and scorers. Ooh. Let's go three-one Sunderland. Let's go Stewart. Pritchard and Callum Dole to get his first senior goal. Hey, cheers, pal. Always a cheers, pleasure. Sure, Take care, mate. All right, I've got somebody else coming in. Hey, pal. Uh, yeah. What's your name, miss? Uh, Kaya. Kai? Kaya. Kaya. Right, yeah. Kaya. You're a Sunderland fan, yeah? Yeah. Um, that's, uh, well, actually, the summer's out. The sun's not out now, but it's, uh, it seems a nice day to be a fourth. A little bit of a win, but uh, are you confident this afternoon, mate? Uh, yeah, very comfortable, confident. Have you, still, have you seen the teams? I mean, there's two changes from the... Uh, the, the game of, of last Saturday it was uh, Pritchard comes in for injured uh, Lyndon Gooch um, and Flanagan who was suspended comes in for, for Bailey Wright I think that's just the two changes you would, you would ex- imagine you would expect yeah um, who, do you, who, who do you think who are you, look, who are you looking for today in, in the team to, to, to perform um, Ross Stewart Ross Stewart yeah, yeah. you're confident this afternoon yeah yeah what, what, what's your score prediction 2-0 uh, Sunderland 2-0 who, who's your score uh, Stewart and Embleton Stewart and Embleton yeah. You, th- you think this uh, this season they're confident this season? Yeah, automatic, 100%. Definitely automatic, top two, no playoffs? No playoffs, no. Right. Cheers, pal, for your time. Cheers, nice. yeah. huh? <laughs> Cheers lads. Um, Aly- Alyssa Rowell, am um, I getting in? Uh, Alyssa, uh, I was like, when Alyssa comes on, she's great speakers. Alyssa, just come on. Uh, that's just much sure. Right. Alyssa, thanks again uh, for coming on. Um, I was reading the comments and there's a lot of people seeing getting to get a listen on uh, every week. Well, if I could get a listen on every week, I would get them on every week. But she speaks so much sense. Alyssa, well, thanks again. Um, are you confident this afternoon seeing the, the teams? Um, Two yeah, changes? definitely. I think Flanagan, Flanagan coming in was a must, to be honest. Uh, I think we've like really um, underestimated how well he performs in the team and how yeah. how crucial really he is. I guess you don't really realise till he's gone. But I'm um, buzzing that he's back in... Um, have to see. I think Gooch is injured as well, but I think it's the best that he went out of the team. Yeah. I think he loses his head really easily, yeah. and I think we, we can't be having any type of liability on the pitch at the minute. It's really important that we're consistent. Do you think, obviously, speaking of the, 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 the bloke earlier on, do you think Diatra maybe is a little bit or not? Do you think he's just not match fit? That's the reason why Pritchard started yeah. instead of I've Diatra. Heard, I've heard that he's not he's not match fit, but um, I would love to see him. I'd love to see him play at um, just, it's just exciting, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, he look, he looks from like... Union Berlin, Berlin um, <laughs> yeah. obviously signed from Bayern Munich to them. Yeah. It's just, I'd love to see him play. He seems very enthusiastic about the club. He's always on social media. and He's a media team's dream, really. He does everything right. Yeah, yeah. So it would be nice to see him play because obviously I've heard he plays quite direct. Yeah. And I think that would work well with maybe Embleton and Neil. And I think they'd be a force to be reckoned with, quite frankly. The, the, the biggest selection down for me was in the middle. Corey Evans started on Tuesday after the you know it was a great performance by Son on Tuesday, two nil victory. Yeah. Um, he's went with um, Dan Neil and Luke Moore nine. That's the right uh, right choice. Yeah, definitely. Um, they've been playing well. Obviously, Corey Evans has just came back from injury, hasn't he? Yeah. So maybe he doesn't want to risk it too much. Um, 
Dan Neal uh, is a player I love, yeah. Uh-huh. I think he's like 19, 20 years old, so much potential, it's absolutely unreal. It's scary, then, isn't it? It is scary, yeah. Uh, just think about where he could be in the next few years. I know. And then you've got um, Luke 09, who obviously is just a workhorse, so he'll run himself into the ground 100%. He'll pop his shoulder back on, like, the pitch if he needs to, you know <laughs> what get I mean? back on. He, and he, he's so versatile a player anyway, and I think yeah. he really injects um, a bit of positivity in the squad and enthusiasm, so I think he needs to be there, yeah. I think look now we're back four as well. I mean, Hoffman seems like a, you know, you know he looks like he's going to be a reliable uh, keeper. Hopefully, fingers crossed, anyway. Really. But Sirkham, left back, I think he's improving every game. Mm-hmm. Um, Winchester's made the right back his position now, yeah? Yeah, Obviously, definitely. Callum Doyle, 17-year-old. What can you say about him, Callum Doyle? Um, and Flanagan, it's just been, Flanagan's been brilliant this season, so uh-huh. there's your back four. As you back four, it looks pretty solid, doesn't it? We need to try and keep clean sheets, though. Definitely. Clean sheets, I'd love nothing more than to see a clean sheet, honestly. Uh, I think we deserve one, to be honest. But um, obviously, we have to work hard for it and um, be defensively sound. And I think yeah. Flanagan coming back in um, at the squad really allows us to go for a clean sheet today. And we have the potential to do it, definitely. It's, it's how, for me, how you bounce back from a setback. And I think after sat- last Saturday, we were all deflated. Two goals in the... I mean, the last the, the, the equaliser was in the 90s. 97th minute, soul destroying, but it's how you how you bounce back from a, a setback like that we did on Chelsea, you know, quite brilliantly. Yeah. 100%. I think uh, you can't dwell on it too much. I think that's what happened with uh, the Czech Trade Trophy final um, when we played Portsmouth. I think that really um, affected the rest of our run, and I think we can't we can't have that mentality of oh well, yeah. oh we've done this, oh it's done, and it's oh, we're not top of the league anymore. I think yeah. that win will really give us the drive to push on and yeah. um, do well to do. Hopefully, yeah. Uh, um, just quickly, Alyssa, then there, because I'll try and get more people in. Um, your score predictions for this afternoon and your scorers? It uh, has to be 3 1. I think I said last night, I think yeah. I said Flanagan's going to score. An Flanagan. There's the one for you, Flanagan. Definitely. Get your money on. Get your money on. Alyssa says Flanagan. I'm not um, sure the price would be a good, a good price. Yeah. Who else did I see? I said Daniel. Daniel. And um, Embo, I think I said. Right. Let's so, yeah. hope you're right, Alyssa. Thanks again. Thank it's always you. a pleasure. Take care, Alyssa. Yeah. Enjoy the game. Hi. All right. What do you think they're going to win? Huh? What do you think they're going to win? Ah, John, John, John. All right, did you want to come on? Do you want to come on? The stand there, look. What's your name? Molly. Molly, all yeah, right, Molly. Um, what, what what do you think about this afternoon? Do you think we're, we're going to win? Aye. Yeah, what do you think the score's going to be? Three or us on none of the other team. Three nil. Who's going to score the goals? Luke. Luke, Luke or nine. Uh-huh. Um, Probably Gooch. Go- Gooch's in- Gooch's in- Um Pritch- Pritchard's just coming into here. Gooch's in- Gooch's injures. Aiden. Aiden. Aiden McAiden, yeah. And Boss. Boss, Boss, uh, Stuart, yeah. So Aye. three nils, three nils Sunderland. You think we're, we're going to win the league this year? Aye. Absolutely. Yes. Right, thanks for your time, all right? Take care. Enjoy the game. Yes, all right, right, see you later. I am. Oh, they might be coming in. What, what's your name, miss? Cameron. Stand, stand. Mm-hmm. Cameron. James Cam- Cameron, yeah. Yeah. Um Cameron, thanks for taking your time to, right. to, to join us. Um when SFC fans react live. Remember we are live, so if there's any swearing, any foul language, uh, I do apologise in advance. Um and please please hit the like button, please, please uh, subscribe to the channel, it's absolutely free. It doesn't cost a penny. What do you name again, mate, sorry? Cameron. <laughs> Cameron, right, Cameron for the third time. Cameron, um Bolton Wanderers, the eighth on the table, and they started pretty well. Um yeah. what, you, what do you think is gonna happen this afternoon? I think it'll be two one. Fancy in tier one, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we have to look out for Affleck in their right mid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Percy. Uh huh. Think Embleton might grab Embleton I from outside the box and Stewart. Yeah. What do you think of that? Obviously, Gooch is injured today. He's um, I think could be out for a while. Do you think that's a chance for the other guys to to? to I mean, Pritchard comes in for for Gooch. That's a good choice. I mean, I mean. Pritchard could probably prove himself, but he's injury prone. Somebody's had too much uh, quarter caller <laughs> by the looks of it. Jesus Christ, the state of him. I right, saw. So, I say Pritchard. He's, he's he played well. Chose yeah. he done well. He um he yeah. kept the ball very well. Do you know what I mean? I thought that there was a lot of lads who had done themselves uh, a lot of justice on Tuesday. It was a good performance, wasn't it? Yeah. Against Wigan. Yeah. So um obviously we're joined top with with Wigan now, aren't we? We're joined yeah. top. Uh, hopefully cool. Wigan can slip up on Wigan there. I think they've got Cheltenham today. I think they'll, I think they'll probably beat them, won't they? I think they will. So, but then you said so two one. You're thinking two one to Sunderland. Yeah. Scorers, Embleton and Stewart. Embleton and Stewart. Right. Thanks for your time, Paul. Harvey. Right. Take care. Um, 
Hi, right, anyway, um, I got somebody else in. Um, Christian. On the X. Huh? On the X. Hi, follow on. Yeah. Christian. Pleasure. Uh, oh, what well, Mondas fans are a little bit drunk there. Very um, entertaining. Are you confident this afternoon? Uh, very. Very confident, aye. Aye. What's the score going to be? 2 1 victory. Uh, Ross Stewart Brace today. That's what I feel in me in my heart. Aye. Did you, see, did you see the game Tuesday or not? Because it wasn't a stream, was there? Um, did you see the game? Yeah, I listened to it on the radio. Ah, we played really well, like. It seemed, really, it seemed really that well. way. It definitely did seem that way. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we're playing some really positive football at the minute. We just need to keep it up. The second goal was a, was a brilliant team goal. Uh, right. I don't know if you've seen it on Sky, Sky Sports News. Huggins down the right with Broadhead. Back to Huggins. Huggins crossed it in no nine. Great finish in the, in the bottom corner. Some excellent, uh, just passing it along. That, that, that's what passing it along the floating day. Just... Passing, passing move for Paul, isn't it? Yeah. Our last two uh, results for Wigan uh, have been disappointing. Obviously, the one one with Jack Wilson, and obviously Phil Partington was the nil nil game. It was one of the worst games I've ever seen. Like, drab, it was, drab. It was absolutely it? diabolical, to be fair. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's, I think Wigan's going to bring a couple of thousand, two or three thousand in there. So it should be a good atmosphere uh, should, this afternoon. It should be today, it should be. Um, I mean, Bolton fans are really, uh, pos really like, passionate and they're like us, to be honest. Yeah. So. Uh, have you just recently set you on? YouTube channel, yeah? I did. I what's, did. what's your YouTube channel called? Uh, Forster SEFC. Forster SEFC. So go in there, go and check your channel out on, on YouTube, Forster SEFC. Uh, give him a, um, uh, subscribe to his channel, remember, it's absolutely free, doesn't cost a penny. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks for your time, uh, Christian. Time. Um, take in, enjoy the match, all right? Paul, you all right? Um, try and get a, do you want to, I'll try and get a couple of Bolton fans on if I can, mate. Yeah, let's get Dan on. Dan? 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 Come with me. We have to keep everyone entertained while um, Sean goes asks for someone. So we've got to talk about. We've got to talk rubbish, about. Basically. Yes, basically. I'm loving the scarf, though, aren't I? I'm I know it. it's nice. Then, because um, uh, basically, Dan, Dan didn't get me a birthday present, so he bought this today with the club store reopening, which is good news for Dan, isn't it? It is indeed. Loving little shop in there. Yeah, it is. Yeah, definitely. So the bowl of bought for you, aren't they? Yeah. I mean. There are quite a lot of Bolton fans. I think this is the best atmosphere that um, away fans have actually brought this season. Because, um, you know, with the likes of uh, Accrington and uh, Wimbledon and uh, Wickham, not quite the um, not quite the, the fans. Singing wanting to... as well, you know what I mean? This was yeah. numbers. Um, they're, 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 they're singing... Um, lanky, yeah, lanky, all... lanky, 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 That's what they're singing. Yeah, that's what they're singing, yeah. Didn't we have a thing in the... Um... Oh, here we go. Look at this beautiful fan. Oh, here we go. We've got some Bolton fans. Oh, Dave the Rave, hi. Oh, he's a legend, though. Uh, well, he might be a legend, but it, it, it was a bad decision, weren't it? As you might miss. All right. We're just, uh, right. What's, your, what's your name, anyway? Falls from Bolton or Paul, whichever right, but, you um, Bolton, one of those fans, I'm just uh, you know, taking the time out. Are you confident this afternoon? Mm, not really. You guys are a good side. You know, we're playing some good stuff, but yeah. I'll, I'll take a draw today, you know. Right. Yeah, but, you start yeah. the season well, aren't you? We started so, well. We're playing really good stuff, right. but... We're just lacking a few players, but yeah. ever you know, he's doing it on the shoestring. Yeah, really happy with what's going. On. We, we take mid table at start of season. Yeah. Things going on, right? As I'm saying, it's obviously you got promoted last season, so this year I think it's about just maybe he's finishing mid table, or do you think you could get in the playoffs? Well, everyone's getting a bit giddy now because we've had a good start. Probably sticking on it and yeah. getting get the playoffs. The got, brought, got brought down to us a bit last week by uh, Rob Room, who were just expert. Yeah. We we battered them for most of the game, but yeah. they were that a bit more experienced ex championship side, yeah. but. Yeah, I think, I think we've got a chance, maybe. The way we play, see what he gets in January, we might push for it, playoffs. Yeah, yeah. Never know, never know. Yeah, you never know, mate. And, and, do you know what? Every time Bolton comes up here, he's always bringing about two or 3,000 up. Great, yeah, great support. Yeah, great I think we're sold out. Like, like I saw before we set off today, there were about 100 tickets left. So, so they, we're probably sold out. Nearly 3,000. That's brilliant. Fantastic from the Bolton fans. I think it's 2,000. I think that's what is I was guessing. Yeah, 2,000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to sing like your that. heart out the start this afternoon? Oh, we do, yeah. We do. We've got good away support. We're a big town, though. Biggest town in Europe, Bolton. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know. And you've just had a dance off with Dave the Reavers. Is that right? Dave the Reavers. We have, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean. Did, got, did, you, did you win enough? Well, no. It, it, it was a bit of a bit, bit of a fix, wasn't it? And my mate will tell you. A bit of a fix. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> hammered him. <laughs> but a lot more Sunderland fans in that pub than Bolton, so you know. Aye, aye. You know, anyway, I, it's pretty me. I know you want to have a, get a couple of pints. Um, score predictions and your scores. I'll take one all today, but yep. you never know. We're Bolton, we're so unpredictable. You might slap us or we might slap you, but I'll take a one all draw. I'll take right. one all draw. Thanks for your time, pal. No worries, pal. Good luck for the rest of the season, mate. Take care. Take care, pal. Take care. Take care, pal. Very cheerful.
Yeah. All right, lads. Oh, I've, I've interviewed you. Interview, oh, you're I family. am. Cost me. <laughs> Charlie, pal. Hi, um, what's your name again, mate? Sorry. Charlie. Charlie, Charlie uh, are you confident this afternoon? Two changes. Um, Pritchard comes in for the injured gooch, and obviously Flanagan's back from suspension. Um, it's a, what's to be expected, really? Flanagan's had a really good start of the season. Um, are you confident this afternoon? Yeah, yeah. I mean, these aren't bad, are they? So, I mean, they're going to bring numbers up. Oh, they've, they've, yeah. they've sold out of but bringing yeah, 2,500 yeah. up. That's a credit to Bolton Wanderers as well. Should be a good atmosphere. Yeah, it should be. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think we'll win, but it's, it's not just going to be a walk over us. Aye! Christ, what are you doing, man? Can't stop him. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, your score predictions and your scorers? Um, 2 1. We always win 2 1. 2 1? 2 1. Ross Jewelbo. Aye. He's the best. So, where are we going to finish this season? Oh, win the league. Easy. Win, win the oh, league? Oh, yeah. No doubt. Oh, yeah, of course. No doubt. About Lee Johnson, all the way? No, no. Lee Johnson, all the way. Happy days, mate. Right. Take care. Um, I'll just go to the live chat if I can. Um, new comments. Um, John Jones says 3 0. Honey 95. Russell Williams uh, says 2 0. Michelle Oliver, uh, good vibes, hi. Amy Reeves says hi, all. Jacob uh, SESC. David Wood, uh, come on, SFC, give Sean some love. <laughs> uh, Michelle Oliver Prince. Um, Kevin Muse, I think I've met Kev before. Um, there's actually 50, 50 watching at the moment, so hit that like button. Remember to subscribe to our channel, it's absolutely free, it doesn't cost a penny. Um, does anybody else want to come in? Paul? Want to come in, Paul? You just want to start, didn't you? You just want to start, didn't you? How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? Paul, um, Wilson, a friend of mine, um, obviously, it, uh, you know, after the game last Saturday, yeah. It was a bit disappointing. But yeah, it was. Like... bounced back from a, a setback and uh, we, beat, we beat Wigan. So, again, we, we're, we're back, the positive is back up. It's yeah. Back, it's back up. Are you, are you comfortable this afternoon? Definitely. All right. Um, two changes. So, you, do you think that obviously Gooch is, he could be out for a few weeks? Uh, apparently, I think a lot of the fans have been frustrated with, with Gooch. But do you think maybe he's, Richard was the right choice or would you have chose Broadhead or somebody else? I don't know, really, because I would have probably, because I said to Michael and them, I'd right. probably give um, Jacku a oh, chance. Ja 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 I think the Jacku, I think, I think it's just a fitness thing, isn't it? I think once he yeah. gets once he gets match fit, he'll be, I think he'll be starting in that on that right hand side, like yeah. I, I would imagine. So anyway, um, score predictions, Paul. I'll go say two nil. Yeah, two I'll say two nil. Scorers, Ross Stewart. And I'm going to say Elliot Hamilton. Nice. And this this season, no playoffs. Definitely not. I think we're, yeah. we're going up. I think every supporter now is, 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 is confident like in the top two. Like a lot of the fans are saying it's it's definitely how we are. Well, the way we start this season, we're going to do it. Aye. Right. No setback. No strictly Johnsons. No. No. <laughs> Thanks for your time, Paul. Take care. Enjoy the game, mate. All right. All right. Take care, Paul. Uh, my mum's just said hi there. Um, Mitchell Mc McKitterick, uh, we Philly mate. Um, Chin Watt is Sean mate. Interviews and the Bolton fan is good. Captain Tom Honey 95. Um, thanks everybody for tuning in. Um, we are on 23 minutes, so another seven more minutes and then we'll, we'll wrap it up. But I'll try and get a few more fans in if I can. If I can get some Bolton fans. Um, I'm going to go um, as, on the uh, fans we have Friday. I says 3 um, 0 Sunderland. I think we're going to win uh, and keep a clean sheet as well. I'm, I'm very uh, optimistic this afternoon, even though I think Bolton's a good side, very good side. Um, I think they are. I think we're going to win. Right. Anybody else on that? Michael Bowers? Coming on? I don't care. I'll go on. <laughs> no comment. On, Michael man. Bowers, uh, thanks uh, for taking the time out, pal. Um, obviously, got his own channel yeah. and, uh, on um, SFC Fan TV as well. Michael, are you confident this afternoon, mate? I'm pessimistic, no. <laughs> I think it's going to be a two-all draw. Oh, no, Michael. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is. I just think they're a team. That, I know the Bolton concede a lot of goals, but they also score a lot. Uh, I think I saw some of them. They might have had the, is it the third worst defensive record in, in the league? You know, when we were, uh, on, we were on the wrong report, report actually, asked, I, like, yeah. I'm sure that I asked that question. I think they do have the, they concede quite a lot of goals, but good God. Well, Mike, uh, Michael, you, you agree with the uh, statistics, so I'll, 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 I'll trust you on that one. <laughs> I'm saying I think for a reason. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not saying for definite. 
Honestly, uh, what, what, what do you think then? I said three nil, but Michael, to be honest, I'm just like you know. Don't, what, oh, no, uh, what, what, what about the certain person who uh, Dave Lawrence is in our group chat? Uh, what, what, like what? three nil, get, get hammer into these guys. <laughs> That's not what he actually said, but uh, we will we'll not repeat that uh, on air. Uh, but <laughs> uh, honestly, I don't know. I think it's going to be a very, very end-to-end -end game. I think both teams are going to really go for it. Yeah. Um, but but we'll see what happens. Uh, we'll see like, what happens. And I would like to see Michael. I think um, after. Oh, uh, after the setback last Saturday, the, the two-two, I think um, it's how it's how you tell you, you, you bounce back, isn't it? And obviously we were, we were brilliant on Tuesday, and he made he made seven year changes as well in that game. Yeah. You know, so all these players who's you know. Well, psychologically that could be a big win though, because even though it's a cup game, it's a top two league one course, game basically. Course. So yeah, so and I think it's just we've got the game again today, a home game Tuesday, so it just depends how we. It just depends how we bounce, like we said earlier. We said it last week on the way back from Fleetwood. Um, it's how you bounce back from it. Of course it is. Character, two... you've showed character into there. Well, you exactly. So, like Brendan Rogers, character. <laughs> character. But anyway, so Michael, um, you, you sent for a 2 2, uh, two, two draw. Um, Please, Mike, Sunderland, prove us wrong. Prove all the guys who are winning. This season, win, Michael, right? this season, fourth year in, in League. In Don't league ask me if we're going to go up. I can't make a prediction. <laughs> oh, wait. Fine, we're going up because we're massive. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> we're massive. There we go. Uh, Michael Bowers said it, so we're definitely, definitely, definitely going uh, Excuse show. me, I did not say definitely. <laughs> you put that word in my mouth. <laughs> That's Sean. He said it, not me. <laughs> right, thanks for your time, Michael. Enjoy care, the dude. game, buddy. Oh, hopefully. Take care. Right, anyway, um, I think that's just about wrapped it up. Uh, we've had plenty of people on the day. Thanks for uh, everybody who's tuned in to the, the live chat as well. There was 50, there's 55 people in the live chat. Um, much, much appreciate that. Um, you know, to take your time out, especially on, on the game day when you could be at the match or you might be at the match. Um, so, for myself, Sean Middleton, for Matthew Leeds, um, don't forget to watch the interviews. They'll be on tonight. They're in about 11 o'clock by the time I've edited them. Um, and then we'll see you all, guys all on there. Uh, Matt and Monday. Um, so, it's bye for now.